diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Harrison Moon, who's an offensive lineman out of Tennessee Chattanooga. What's happening, bro? Not much. How you doing? Just hanging in there, man. It's Friday. I'm happy. You know, uh, ready, ready to get this weekend going. So yes, sir. But hey, man, uh, it's all about you today. So let's just go ahead and uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. I mean, just give me a, a brief summary of your career. Yes, sir. So um, I started my college career at Mississippi State. I uh, enrolled summer of 2015 and uh, spent three seasons there. I was uh, playing center. I was playing backup center at the time and uh, doing some special team stuff. And then uh, after the 2017 season, I transferred to Chattanooga, UT Chattanooga and uh, spent that spring playing center. But then in the fall, transitioned to right tackle as a better fit for the team at the time. And so I started uh, the 2018 season at UT Chattanooga at right tackle. And then the uh, 2019 season was, uh, was supposed to be my senior year. I was starting right tackle, unfortunately had a season ending injury, but was uh, able to apply for a medical red shirt and was awarded it. And so uh, now I'm here trying to get another shot at a senior season through all the uh, COVID stuff, ready to go. Oh, well, so I guess now you're going into your sixth year uh, you know, six, you know, red shirt uh, twice over with a, with a senior year. Uh, so furthering your education, you know, trying to do what you got to do, you know, with, uh, you know, what's God, what God's given you. Um, I have you in my notes, 6'5", 297 pounds, which is a pretty decent size. Um, again, like you said, I mean, you, you played backup for a long while there at Mississippi State, with, which again, you know, you think about some of the guys that have come out of Mississippi State. I mean, those guys are, uh, you know, really pro caliber players that are really doing an excellent job, like at the pro level. Um, so yeah, I mean, those guys are, are, are great. And then of course, you coming to uh, Chattanooga, you know, playing at right tackle, now practicing to play at left tackle. So I mean, I personally feel like you do bring a lot of versatility to the table. Um, and, and more than likely, um, I, I feel like pros are going to want to push you inside anyways. Um, so what would you say uh, is like the best thing that you bring to the table? Like one of your best attributes? I think, uh, like I said, I think versatility is one of them. I, I'd like to think I can play most positions on the line. I've got, I'm going to have experience at both tackles and playing center. And then, uh, I think I'm an intelligent player. I think I'm smart and understand the game of football. And then uh, I think I just bring passion to the table. I think I'm a very passionate guy about the game of football. And I kind of think that's lost among people these days. And so I think that's really uh, what you're getting out of me. Great. And uh, talk to me about this off season, man. I mean, I, I, again, you had mentioned that you had an injury uh, last season. Uh, so tell me, uh, like, how, how are you with that injury? If you fully recovered, and just this off season, just as a whole, because I mean, obviously, you know, uh, it's been weird for everybody. So just kind of lay it on me, man. Like, what's been uh, happening this off season for you? Yes, sir. So um, I've got cleared. I'm a hundred percent full go. I have been for a couple months now. Um, our medical staff did an awesome job helping get me to where I am today and rehabbing me. And we've been practicing. I I feel good. I, I feel strong. I feel athletic and fast. And uh, I, ultimately, I don't even I don't even think about it anymore. And then, uh, you know, throughout this whole off season, I guess my main my main emphasis was was rehabbing, and getting healthy, and you know, coming back better than where I was before surgery. So uh, I got a lot of one on one time, two on one time with our athletic trainers, and you know, really just them kicking my butt for a couple months, making sure I'm I'm getting ready for the season and getting healthy. And then uh, along with rehabbing. I, I went to Velocity, which is an O-line specific gym, kind of uh, near Atlanta. And uh, I worked with them. We weren't able to get a spring ball from uh, due to all this COVID, COVID stuff. So uh, they kind of helped me at first with my transition to left tackle, helping kind of, you know, and rebuild those techniques in me, went, like helping apply those techniques into my game. 
and uh, ultimately got re got me ready for left tackle for the season to uh, come and be ready for when it's time to join our team and be back from the offensive line coach. So I'm ready to go. Cool. And um, it, it seems like you guys only really have one game uh, this fall, uh, which happens, I guess, in about a week uh, against Western Kentucky. Uh, so, I mean, obviously you're, you're preparing again, like you said, you know, you know, being at that left tackle now, um, and you're also in the film room, you know, watching your opponent. So, uh, don't give too much away, but just kind of break things down for me a little bit, maybe about like how you watch film, um, not necessarily that opponent, but just sort of in general, like how do you break things down in order to prepare yourself, uh, for game day? Yes, sir. So, uh, I'm a big creature of habit, big creature of routine. Um, once I find that routine that works for me, I stick with it. So uh, on Mondays, after we practice, I'll come in and kind of analyze first the practice film from that day, you know, see what uh, I need to clean up, make better, so I can uh, execute it better the next day. And then, uh, you know, as far as breaking film down on another team for the week, on Mondays is my like first down emphasis. I'll just buzz through first and second down maybe buzz through a couple of blitzes, but, you know, see, see how they play on the early downs. And then Tuesdays, Tuesdays is my third down emphasis. I'll watch a lot of their pass rush moves, you know, do they give anything away in their stances? Are they a big blitz team on third down? What do they like to do? And so, so uh, and then on uh, Wednesdays, Wednesdays is more of my red zone kind of short yardage, you know, do they change defenses getting into the red zone? Like how is that guy playing in the red zone? Like what, what do they like to do? Do they give any tips away? And then uh, Thursdays is kind of just my review day. I'll kind of buzz through, you know, maybe five, 10 clips of, you know, each situation that will happen in a game. And then um, kind of review my notes, kind of make some final touches to my notes. And then uh, Fridays is strictly just notes review and, you know, just getting ready for the game, getting ready to mentally get after it. Cool. So, I mean, it sounds as if, uh, you know, today's like the day that you're wrapping things up and kind of just moving into this weekend. Um, I was just going to ask you, maybe just uh, give me an example of uh, maybe one of the most memorable plays of your career, um, you know, games, moments, you know, something that you're willing to share, uh, you know, about your experiences, maybe a highlight. Yes, sir. So uh, it was, you know, probably the most memorable play in my career is um, we were playing my first season here at UTC. We were playing at South Carolina, playing an SEC school night game. And uh, it was a really cool experience. But um, the first play of the game, our offensive coordinator designed and called a, uh, a kind of like a shot play, long, long, uh, long pass. And, uh, you know, we blocked it up pretty well for our quarterback, Nick Tiano, and he threw an absolute dime to Bryce Nunley, first play of the game, like 30, 40 yard gain. And uh, it's just a cool experience. It's really memorable because, you know, we're a smaller school, you know, that probably isn't supposed to happen to a lot of people who, you know, view it from the outside. And it's just, we believed in ourselves and we knew we could do it. And it was just kind of, you know, affirmation to ourselves, like we belong, we're here, like, let, let's do this thing. So uh, it, it was it was just a good experience. It was really memorable, first play of the game, never forget it. Cool. You know, those two guys that you mentioned, Nick Tiano and Bryce Nunley, man, I, I really believe that those two guys are really excellent players, um, uh, especially Bryce, man. I mean, I know Bryce is uh, an excellent, you know, guy, like, in the classroom as well as on the field. I mean, he's just an excellent, you know, good all-around guy. Um, but what are some of the other guys there that maybe not everybody knows or, or – um, I don't know, maybe just maybe a player there that has just impressed you over the years that you want to uh, give some love to. Man, we got we got so many guys. Uh, I think we're a very talented team. And we have a lot of special guys, good group of guys. Uh, you know, some notable ones, I'd say uh, left guard Cole Strange. Yeah, he's, he's a stud. You'll, you'll definitely see him playing on Sundays. Our, our right guard McClendon Curtis, he's a, uh, I believe, a junior. He's like one of the biggest guys you'll ever see, 6'8", 330. Um, tight end, Chris James, you know, quarterback turned tight end, All-American player at the position. I mean, he's awesome, really great leader for our team. Bryce Nunley, like as you said, I mean, very talented, just great guy, academically everything. And then uh, we got some guys in the secondary, Jordan Jones and Jarrell Lawson. 
you know, they really hold down that secondary and do a great job. Then uh, Devonche Maxwell is kind of the uh, leader of our defensive line group, and they've got some talented guys. That, you know, I know he's a couple years away, but there's a freshman named John Prince. He's he's really talented, and um, you know, we got a linebacker Ty Beck. He's a great player. There's there's great players everywhere in Chattanooga. Gotcha. I thought there we were just going to mention the whole roster, man. You were just you're just going down the list. I uh, see. I, that, that's that's the short list. I mean, I, there's there's so no, many it's, more. No, it's players. it's cool. I I understand because I mean I do realize that you have a lot of great talent there. I mean I've been able to talk to a few of those guys that you had mentioned. I mean I did a Zoom interview with uh, Craig J uh, Chris James a, a while back ago. So I mean obviously um, Mr. Do It All tight end, H back, mm -hmm. fullback, you know emergency quarterback. So I mean that guy can do it all. So he he can. Um, but uh, but yeah. Um, uh, for those watching this video, you can also go back and check that out when you get some time. Uh, so, Harrison, man, uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself, like, outside of football. I mean, uh, in my notes I have that um, actually it seems like you just – you graduated not too long ago uh, with a bachelor's in psychology. Uh, where, yes, are you at, where are you at right now with your education? What are you doing? Yes, sir. So, I graduated December 2019 with a uh, degree in psychology. And now I'm pursuing a degree in sports management and uh, just, you know, hoping to graduate again, get a second degree. Cool. So, I mean, again, like one of the blessings with COVID, I feel, is just it, it's allowing guys like yourself to extend your scholarship, to extend your education, which, you know, I mean, I, obviously, you know, being stuck in quarantine and having to walk around in masks and, and get tested, obviously those things that we, we don't necessarily want to do, but I mean, furthering your education, man, like that's, that's excellent. I mean, having that opportunity and, and for you possibly getting two degrees is really just something else. Um, anything more about you that you want to share in this video, any other interests or passions in life or, or, or you know, anything really about you that maybe not everybody knows? Uh, I mean, I, I'd say, uh, I guess it's passions in life. I, I just say being with friends, family and, you know, I got an awesome girlfriend hanging out with them. It it doesn't take a lot to it doesn't take a lot to make me happy. And uh anything being around them from you know, me and some guys will we'll go get outdoors and hang out and that's what we'll do. And you know, me and some other ones will go out to eat and that's what we'll do. It's just genuinely just being around friends and family is just that's what I'm passionate about. That's what makes me happy outside of football. Cool. So it sounds like, you know, we need to go camping or something. So I mean it'd be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it'd be good good fire, good food. I'm I'm here for it. Awesome, awesome. I gotta get myself out to Tennessee. Uh hey man, um let's also give some uh, some love to some of your mentors in life, you know, your coaches, your leaders, um really anyone else that you want to give a shout out to. Um uh let's talk uh, about some of those people. Yes, sir. So, you know, first I gotta give a thank you to my family. I mean, they've just been with me through all the highs and lows. I can't thank them enough. But uh, as far as kind of like coaches and mentors go, uh, really my like first first real trainer, uh, Mark White, he kind of, he, he got me in middle school and he was really the first one who drilled that kind of like mental toughness, like you can't be broken kind of mentality to me. And, and, you know, I was in middle school and it, you know, at the time it was just eye opening, but he, he really, that, that stuck, the lessons he's taught me has really stuck with me. And then um, also I have another trainer. His name's David Wyke. I did a lot of boxing stuff with him to get my hands ready, get them faster, get them stronger. And he is uh, also a pastor. And so, uh, you know, he's just a great guy all around. I've been to church and seen him preach and also would go to the gym the next day and let out some anger and hit some boxing gloves. So, uh, you know, he's been awesome for me, been with me every step of the way. And then uh, the guys at the Velocity, they're uh, Josh Richardson and Luke Schulteis. They've really helped me um, kind of embrace the fundamentals and, you know, really hone in on those fundamentals and become just a better football player. They're both great guys. They're, they're both like family to me. And, uh, you know, they just really help elevate my game. And my current offensive line coach, Chris Malone, he's, uh, he's awesome. He's a, uh, he's a great coach and, you know, he's, he's a tough love kind of guy, but I feel like he's really helped my game become a lot better and really help me just analyze the game of football and just be an overall better player and teammate. 
Cool. It sounds like you got a lot of guys in your life that are really, you know, helping you along the way, man. So definitely uh, great to have, you know, all those guys. I mean, I keep thinking about like having a pastor that's willing to, uh, you know, maybe mess you up a little bit in the boxing ring or something like that. I think that just kind of sounds fun. Oh, uh, he's, he's the real deal. He, he'll get you right. That, that, that's, that's fun. Hey, man, um, I always ask the why question to everybody, so I'm going to just go ahead and lay it on you. Um, just tell me why you play football. And explain a little bit of, of your motivation. I mean, I, I play the game of football ultimately because I love it. It's, it's such a hard game, and it, it, it's such a demanding game, so I, I don't know how you play it if you don't love it. I mean, that's really I, – I just love, I love everything the game encompasses. It's, it's just – it's the best game on earth, and really that's, that's about the only reason why I say it. I just love the game. And then uh, as far as motivation, my, my family is my motivation. They, um, you know, they've supported me through all the highs and the lows and just been my rock throughout this whole process. And, uh, you know, I just can't thank them enough. I just – I want to make them proud and you know make them feel like they're right for believing in me like you're right for supporting me you're you, you know you, you made the right decision you know being by my side and uh so you know when you're not feeling as good or feeling banged up sometimes that's what you know helps motivate me is you know I need to make them proud I gotta you know do this extra workout to you know make it and so they're they can be proud of me cool and very last thing for you Harrison is just Give a pitch to a professional team. You know, why should they take a chance on you? What would you be bringing as a teammate? I think, uh, I think as a teammate, first off, you're getting you're getting a good fit in the locker room. You know, I, I believe chemistry with the guys is a really important thing, and I genuinely believe I can get along with most anyone. And then, uh, you know, as far as a player, I think you're getting a versatile, smart player uh, who's tough, loves the game of football, and you know, is passionate about coming into work every day and doing what it takes to help the team win and be successful. I think that is uh, really the biggest thing. Cool. I mean, again, we've already talked a little bit about your versatility. I mean, again, you know, playing a little bit of center, right tackle, left tackle. I mean, I feel like just kind of in my gut that, like, it'd be really nice uh, for a professional team at, for at the very least to put, put you on their practice squad because you figure – you know, with your ability to be able to, to, to play over here, to play over here, to play over here, like, I mean, shoot, you're, you're able to fill in for almost anybody, which I think is just a cool thing that you really bring to the table. Um, but, hey, man, this has been co a, a cool experience, you know, just getting to know you, you know, having a little bit of fun, just kind of chit-chatting about you, like, outside of football as well. Um, do wish you the best of luck moving forward, buddy. Um, uh, again, this is Harrison Moon offensive lineman out of Tennessee Chattanooga. Uh, definitely check him out. Um, check him out next week because he's going to be playing. Um, yes, sir. Again, take it easy, man. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Thank you.